Uh, my name's Harun Horsfall. I work at Paragon Tattoo. Uh, I've been there for uh, maybe a month now, but I've been tattooing for about six years. What has been your biggest challenge as an artist? Getting into a shop. Um, finding an apprenticeship was easily the, the biggest, biggest challenge. What part of the creative process excites you the most? <sighs> I'd have to say that the easy answer is just drawing, like designing tattoos. Uh, the, the drawing part, once I've gotten a client past the initial, like, let's make a good tattoo, you know, they come in with their idea, they have this set, like, I want this, like, uh, let's not do that, let's do a cool tattoo. That's, that's when it gets fun, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, so what inspired you to be a tattoo artist? Uh, hanging out in skate parks uh, when I was young, like 15, 16. My mom always had tattoos anyway when she'd come home. You know, from the shop, she'd always be looking at my tattoo. I think the first one she had I saw was like a thumper. And it was done like perfect. It's like, how the fuck did this happen? Like, how did you do that? So from that point, I was always into skating. I'd be at skate parks. All those dudes had tattoos. And I was like, oh, fuck it. Like, this is it. Like... I gotta find some way into this. This is pretty cool. That is awesome. So, who are your biggest influences in, in the art world? Um, Simone Bianchi. Uh, he's like a comic book cover artist from like Italy or something. He just like what he does is he'll take a character that's already imagined, like Emma Frost or something like this, and reimagine it and draw it like a way you've never seen a superhero, you know, mm -hmm. or you wouldn't imagine it before. Very ornate, very Victorian, almost. So um, that's probably my biggest one. And then getting into tattooing, just fucking other, like Gokwe, Jeff Gokwe, these other oh, yeah. these super dope tattooers, like yeah. doing shit that just blows my mind. Anything Matt Buck is doing over there at No yeah. Idols, like, yeah, yeah that's how, yeah. That's badass, right on. Um, what themes do you like to pursue? The macabre. Um, I grew up in Connecticut, so like old Victorian shit, like giant churches with arch steeples devils any sorts of like old witch like occult stuff i like any of that that's what i always try to approach <laughs> like anytime i can yeah right on so please describe a real life situation that has inspired you uh, you know i guess recently i could say like watching julia's tattoo kind of changed the, my perspective on tattooing um, I was using rotary when I learned to tattoo I was taught using rotary and it was kind of like just this uphill battle for me I felt like I was ice skating uphill. It's terrible. I Met Julius went over to his shop and watched him tattoo with a coil machine and sort of break down all the mechanics of what was going on I swear this dude was growing horns as the tattoo was going. He just he tattooed this girl's thigh this beautiful flower and a skull in like I don't know three hours and it seemed like no time had passed at all so from that point on, I switched over. I traded all my rotary machines, got coils, and I was like, all right, this is it, you know, like, this is what I'm doing. Now I can't stop. Like, before that, before I saw that, tattooing was kind of like, I loved it, but it was like this thing I was struggling with, you know what I mean? And then when I made the changeover, it was like, all right, well, now I have a relationship with these machines. So, like, let me feed that. Like, how do I keep getting better with this? You know what I mean? Yeah. So just watching him and just that fucking demon just going, I was like, all right, <laughs> like, yeah. this is it, you know? And that's funny because most people are leaving coil and going to rotary. You did the opposite, yeah. man. You went, yeah, yeah, that's cool. So what role does the artist have in society? You know, I don't know. But I, I do know. I, I found out this, this cool thing. I was listening to this documentary. Um, about like the devil in history and they they somebody brought up a point that without artists we wouldn't know what the devil looks like all right which means that like jesus we have like a pretty good you know representation right but without artists like somebody putting pencil to paper and saying here this is what this motherfucker looks like we wouldn't have that so i don't know what role that is but i mean it's uh, you know it, it belongs in society whatever you know whatever role <laughs> it's necessary what do you like most about being an artist yeah, uh, is it cliche to say the freedom? <laughs> <laughs> I did a lot of like, in, like warehousing jobs, Toys R Us jobs, like like working general public, retail, all that type of stuff, and it's just kind of like there's something daunting about being told your worth. You know what I mean? Like you're worth this minimum wage per hour when you're an artist, and you're actually like, and that's the best thing about being an artist is you have to sort of prove that you are worth what you're worth. Otherwise, like you're not, right? Like we don't give a fuck if 
you don't create things and you're not an artist, right? So you have to create things that you can monetize or that you can make into tattoos or that you can make people want in some way. Um, and that is your afforded freedom. So almost directly related to how hard you work, that's how free you can be, you know? Yeah. And so it's, that's it. Like I got to see Spain last year just off of tattooing. You know what that's I mean? Bad. So yeah. like, yeah, it's crazy. So what would be your uh, dream project? I want to do a gigantic, like a mural. I, um, not necessarily tattoo related. Like I, that's something I'm going to be stuck with for a while. Like I'm going to be growing in that, but I just want to do a big fucking mural of like a Kuma or something on a wall. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You doing in here? <laughs> <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> so, what do you consider to be your best work? Um, as far as tattoos go, or just artwork in general? Probably just artwork in general. I like oil painting. Yeah. Um, I sit with that for for hours. I like I like oil painting. That's generally what I'm best at. Mm -hmm. um, there are these things I've been doing, which is like ballpoint pen on a like arch or like cotton paper. That just I proud of that stuff when I'm done just because it allows me to kind of like train my mind to sit still with something for a very long time you know it's about the patience discipline you know uh, but really oil painting is where it's at yeah. for me yeah hey, right on so as a collector of tattoos who does your work um oh man so I don't have much I have a piece done by Sean Monaco I think he's like OGS on Instagram he's a cool guy <laughs> mm -hmm. um, hella sad Lexo he does my neck uh, he did my neck I have a piece from Julius <laughs> um, and I got a bunch of other stuff from various tattooers but those are like my favorite ones yeah yeah okay right on okay is it yeah that's it yep cool